Welcome to another Blueprint IoT video and today's topic are objects. What they are and what they are good for. Let's imagine a big bookshelf. Each book represents a kind of an information. In the real world each book would represent a variable. For example one book could be about a specific fish, another book could be about trees and another book could be about a specific kind of rock. In case you're a biology student you would be probably interested in books about any kind of plants and any kind of sea life. So it would be quite handy to have all these books organized instead of crowded all over the place. And that's exactly what we're going to do with objects. We're going to tidy up. So since we organized our books already according to topics into nice little shelves, we can give them labels like geography, poems, plants, and sea life. So what this bookshelf does is basically what our object does. It's organizing information into certain sections. So instead of having all books on one big pile, we have a bookshelf, the object. And this bookshelf is organized into subsections, so in our case those individual levels of the bookshelf. So in case our student wants to access some certain information, he can go right away to the plants section of our bookshelf and he got all the books about plants. Let's visualize this structure a bit more in detail. On a top level we have all the books about plants. A subsection could be cacti, another one flowers and another one trees. So each book represents one kind of plant. With other words each subsection represents one little pile of books in our shelf plants. But of course there's not only one book about trees in our library. So we could subdivide the trees section into palm trees and conifers. Of course we could dig even deeper, but let's stop at this level for the moment. Since we structured our information in those objects, it's now time to take a look on the reality. We wouldn't use a phrase like plants, we would probably use something like message.plants in this case msg.plants. The subsection would be called msg.plants.cacti. So we have a whole path how to access this certain part of the object. Of course all the other subsections would be accordingly. But let's remember the object was a way to structure our information. So with other words those sections are just labels. But of course those labels are not the whole information, not the whole content of the books, not even the titles of the books. So each label or subsection comes with a value accordingly. In case of message.plants.trees the value would be for example encyclopedia of trees. While the label will stay the same the value can be exchanged. For example this week we have the encyclopedia of trees as our book about trees and next week we may have something else like the lexica of trees. Of course in case you want to make use of the more detailed subsections like palm trees and conifers we would have values for the subsections instead of values of the higher level as displayed here at the moment. So let's recap. The objects are kind of shelves to organize our information. Each object can have one or several subsections consisting of a label and a value because our object is basically organizing a bunch of variables. So these are all the rough basics about an object, what it is, what it's basically doing and what it's good for. If you want to know how we're going to use objects in Node-RED or other applications make sure to be subscribed to the channel and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.